I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Cute. Nice to know you're so full of concern. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, though. I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men of Atreus, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at the worst. I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, could have stopped it all. I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Yes. I saw. Cute. 
it so so I I so I I remember Don't even start. No, I fought No no, it's not but I don't wanna talk Hold on there, civilian. Let, let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? You probably want to speak to Gendar. He's the leader of our village. But if you... if you have time later, maybe you could come back and speak to me again. I don't get much chance to talk with people from the surface. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rock ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I can't stop you from going through... Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. No! This cannot... No! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Run my go on, you two, get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm... My Again. 
Wait, Upworlder. I'm only warning you for the village. So you just lock them all for the. I can't. Get out of here! I'm sorry. I'm my name. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slime. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask your question. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything... You... you come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Old, yes, but not insane. Oh, no. Not insane at all. I am as rational as any man can be after a hundred years in the filth and darkness of the Undercity. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. 
Rukul Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate. What... Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I... I wish you luck. He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near. You monster! How can you say that? Somebody do something! I'm sorry, Hester. There's nothing we can do. It's too late for Hendar now. No! Hendar, no! No problem. Didn't work. A horrible fate for poor Hendar. I warned him not to leave the safety of the village, but I couldn't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect the village, but enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. How can I help you, Upworlder? I'll open the gate for you, Upworlder, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again for the safety of the village. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Listen, my friend Zalbar is in serious trouble, so you can forget about me helping with anything else until I get him back. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. 
That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Please, I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it!
Greetings once more. I wish. Don't speak to me. You're as selfish as all the rest from the surface. I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. That's Candorus Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. 
The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Normally I'd make you regret those words, but I'm not wasting another minute down here. I'm responsible for this whole company, and they won't survive down here much longer. Come on, boys, let's move out!
Greetings once more, up. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity. I offer you wisdom, and you turn me away? Perhaps you are not ready to accept the role you must... Very well, Upworlder. Up well, I'm at the village, so you just for the I can't stop. Please help. No, this cannot. No!
but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Geez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't 
have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. for a second are you ready to have a civil chat or is this going to be another childish tantrum tantrum i'm trying to apologize you nerf herder i mean i'm sorry i didn't mean to get mad at you it's just that i'm sick of everyone treating me like i'm a helpless kid yeah i know and i'm i'm sorry about what i said too i'm just a little on edge lately not surprising considering all we've been through but i shouldn't take it out on you Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know how it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Ready? Sure. No problem. Got it. This is one of those old-style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across it before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. <laughs> I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Dalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Wookie life debt to you? Wow. 
This is major. Do you realize what it means? Hey, Thunder's not your slave. He just swore a life debt to you. It's not the same thing. A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <laughs> Sorry, but there's not much you can do about it. Zalbar's already sworn the life debt, and it's not something they can just take back. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Hey, don't underestimate me. I'm in so. I guess I still owe you one secret path into the book. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on tech. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Oh. You did a good job mopping up those Gamorreans, but I don't think you want to take on a Ranker. Those, luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the...
You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of Black Volker, who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. No one's gonna see this mission.
What? Yeah? What? 